Hi, my name is Kirill and today I'll tell you about my copy of Merlot Rota Telehandler. In the end of this video I'll tell how you can get build instructions. It's a really huge model. It contains 14 motors, 3 as bricks and almost 5100 pieces. The weight of this model is almost 6 kilograms. It is a scale copy 1 to 11. The original machine has many different rigs. My first version had forklift, but now it is a crane. During building instruction test, I've assembled one more model. Here I mounted all my S bricks, so the orange version has no receivers now. The model has suspension. Each XL has four shock absorbers with hot spring because of big weight of the model. You can see detailed operator cap with opening door, comfortable seat, pedals and fake steering wheel. To control the model I need smartphone. I've designed control profile on official s brick site. Each s brick is connected to its own energy source. There are two rechargeable lithium polymer boxes in the chassis. And here is one more battery box for the third s brick. Uh, also, two battery boxes with batteries are mounted in the rear part of the model as a counterweight. Uh, they have no electrical connection. The model has all-wheel drive. Each XL has two large motors uh, with 1 to 9 reduction. Let's try it. As you can see, the model is ready for light of road. It is really heavy, but four large motors give enough power to drive it. Each XL has several motors for steering. Uh, both XLs are independent. We can use normal steering. Uh, all-wheel steering and also we have crab mode. All the wheels turn to the same angle to allow crab steering. It's bad for usual steering. The tires could be unmounted because of big weight of the model. It is the first trouble of the model. Also, it's not too convenient to control three levers simultaneously. Uh, first, uh, no, first exhale steering second and to drive the model I have to train it. The next function is our triggers. They are deployed by two medium motors. Our triggers do not lift the model but they make model stable for superstructure rotation. In the center of the chassis is mounted extra large motor. It rotates superstructure. Boom lifting is a weak point of this model. It can be lifted only without additional load and that's why I replaced fork rig by crane. Let's lift it. Two motors with warm gears. It is maximum angle. Uh, the model has no protection mechanisms like wide protection gears. Uh, that's why I should control it uh, very carefully. Here I am looking after gear rack moving. I have to stop the motors before the mechanism will break. Now we can extend the boom. The extended boom is more than one meter long. The gear rack is hidden inside the second section. The crane motor is mounted in the second section too.
And the final motorized function is operator cap lifting. Unfortunately, actuator protection works well only when I leave the cabin. In opposite direction, actuator starts to break connector, so I have to control it carefully. I have detailed video with this model, check the link in the movie description. It is interesting to play with it, but some functions need careful control. It's not an unkillable toy. <laughs> and now it's time for instruction. Instruction has high quality. It's my first serious instruction, so I will be glad to get feedback from you. I'm sure this instruction can be improved. I'll post the part list on my Flickr page, check the link in the movie description. Your interest and your support is very important for me. To get the instruction, contact me via personal message or via email typed in YouTube channel description page. Also, you can receive it via a bricks through site. Thanks for watching, I hope you like this model. Bye!